Potential new Everton owner John Texter's Eagle Football Group has announced that the French listed company that owns 87.7% of Lyon um, have announced that shares have currently been suspended pending an announcement that is expected to confirm plans for a New York group list. And this is a story that I think broke last week. He was hoping to get that on the stock market. That seems to have developed now with the suspending of these shares. Obviously, John Tex has done a big interview this week talking about his hopes for buying Everton. Did reference that it was different. The uh, the Everton football group he was hoping to set, uh, set up would be a different entity than the Eagle football group. That's the way he's choosing to do it. That's probably the way he's got to do it, uh, considering he still owns shares in Crystal Palace, of course. He's hoping to sell them within the next week or so. But this just gives further credence to that. He wants to raise uh, capital on the stock market for Eagle Football Group. So uh, a very interesting take on the text of development at the moment. Nathan Patterson has returned to training and has took to social media with images of him being back on the grass at Finch Farm. He uh, captioned it, back soon to indicate that he is close to making a return to Everton's first team. It's a welcome return for Sean Dykes. Obviously, his injuries around Seamus Coleman. He's had a couple of them already this season. Yet the manager will want every player available to him as he tries to turn around Everton's disappointing start to the Premier League season. There is a fixture change that has been announced today and it is that Manchester United versus Everton at Old Trafford will now be played on Sunday, the 1st of December, with a 1.30pm kickoff. This is due to Manchester United's involvement in the UEFA Europa League. Uh, on to the stadium now. A couple of announcements about the stadium. Uh, water is now being allowed to flow into the water channel behind the west stand of the new Everton Stadium. This is seen as a major development in the stadium's progress. Obviously, we'd seen the channel that had been dug out. Uh, lots of preparation around that, and it is now being filled with water, and more will be going into there as the progress on the stadium ramps up to being a finished, certainly on the outside and structurally will be finished before all of the internal stuff will be, it's all the snagging and all the nice bits will be done on the inside of it. And further to that, there is a announcement that has followed about the pitch and that is that uh, efforts are continuing to ramp up the finalisation of the pitch, the science behind the future pitch has been explained um, and it's going to have seven layers or that's what's down, seven layers before the grass goes onto it. The gravel layer is uh, transforming the pitch area as work continues to build up that playing surface at the stadium. Um, four months of underground works and utility ducting began on the pitch side surround and the original piling mat used for the vehicular Access was excavated. Contractors have steadily built up layers to create a world-class hybrid SIS grass service. Uh, once the seeding is complete, which is taking place now, that's expected to be completed in the next three weeks. Specialised uh, machinery rather, will then stitch synthetic fibres into the roots of the grass to strengthen them and provide a hard-wearing hybrid SIS grass surface. That was a mouthful. Uh, that will produce a world-class pitch and hopefully Everton can improve as a football team when it moves into the new stadium next season. That is it for the News Daily. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe. If you haven't, watch all the Aston Villa pre-match stuff, the preview, Ped, Start and 11, as well as the manager's press conference. We will see you all later.